you, God. The last time I was in the old God, and now I'm just thrilled with this beautiful building. Well, of course, you won the national championships, the U.S. figure skating competitions in 1934. Have you been skating much since that time? No, I haven't, Dick. Actually, uh, I've skated in Richmond about eight times just this fall since our brand new Coliseum. And betwixt and between times, while the new Richmond Robins, uh, new hockey team, was, was uh, practicing. And uh, aside from that, about ten years ago, on ice in Boston, at the, the skating club of Boston, where I'm an honorary member, is the last time I've really done any skating. Well, what made you come out of this retirement to skate in front of this audience? Well, really, it's because of my very dear friend, Maribel Vincent Owens, and her family, and of course, Maribel, as you remember, was lost with all those wonderful people on the Sabina crash. And uh, Maribel, I know, would be here. She was champion before me, and she was champion after me. She was a wonderful person. She was godmother to my daughter, and my husband was godmother to Laurent. You remember her? And of course, Laurent was, was Maribel Vincent Owens' daughter both of whom were on that 1961 world figure skating team that crashed in uh, Brussels and which uh, was the cause of the Memorial Fund, which is the benefit uh, recipient of... Here's a look at Suzanne Davis Kenyon's film made by her father in 1933, the year before she became U.S. champion. And it's so easy to see here, really, the style of skating in the 30s where uh, toes were pointed and knees were slightly bent, very much in the Art Deco style of the, of the period. And you can still see that today here in the skating in the Davis game. 39 years after those films were made, here she is again. Thank you. 